Good news in sports. Team Nigeria has won their first gold at the Tokyo Paralympics uh, Games. Now, uh, one of the country's uh, power lifters, Latifat Tujani, won gold for Nigeria uh, in the female 45 kg event. Um, Tijani made a top lift of uh, 107 kg to secure the top prize. She defeated her opponent, who is from China, and uh, that was a fantastic one for Nigeria. The Burns went to um, an athlete from Poland, and this feat by Tijani, um, people have been celebrating it because it marks an improvement of her own performance. She had um, had she had a previous record of 106 kg. And that's for the 2016 Summer Paralympics in Rio. She also won a bronze medal in the women's 45 kg event at the 2019 World Para Powerlifting Championships. So we know that Tijani is someone who has had a track record of success when it comes to the Paralympic Games. Um, sadly, um, the guy, Yakubu Adesokan, actually failed to reach the podium regarding the Games. Um, but we know that Tijani did make us proud in the Tokyo Paralympic Games. Absolutely. I think, I think that's, you know, stuff that we need to learn from, you know, the Nigerian para Paralympic um, um, athletes. Uh, we've always, you know, done reasonably well. There's, there's barely any Paralympic Games that Nigeria participates in that we don't come back home with a medal. Now we're hitting gold and, you know, it can only, only get better. So, you know, we maybe need to have, you know, more conversations. Wally Scott hopefully will be able to bring up more conversations on, you know, what they are doing different, you know, in what ways are they training better? Um, do they have better facilities? Do they have less distractions? Um, at the Paralympic Games, a totally different space where Nigerians, you know, can actually uh, thrive. Um, so congratulations to her. You know, I, I like the fact that she's grown over time, you know, from bronze medals, you know, to where she currently is, you know, winning a gold medal. And... Um, Hopefully, you know, she, she's able to keep up this feat and also bring in more of these Paralympic athletes to, you know, the medal table, the Nigerian Paralympic athletes to the medal table, you know, in, you know, in, uh, as time passes. Um, so it's something to t definitely to celebrate and learn from, you know, with, you know, the whole of Nigeria sports and, you know, our athletes. Um, what are the Paralympians doing better? In what ways are they better prepared? You know, and how are they always certain, always sure of a medal every time that they participate? Indeed. And in case you didn't know, we are currently in day three of the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games. And it's going to be 12 days of sports across, 12 days of competition across 22 um, different sports. So yes, we, we can't wait to see how um, the competition really unfolds. Absolutely. Well, congratulations again to Tijani and Team Nigeria. Great way to wrap up the program this morning. And uh, with that, we say thank you for joining us and being a part of the discussions we've had today from uh, talking about the PDP and, you know, the presence of an opposition party here in Nigeria to the NNPC declaring profit uh, for the first time in 44 years. Earlier, we also shared major stories making headlines across the country and also what happened on this day, the 27th of August in history. If you missed out or you want to catch up, remember, it's at Plus TV Africa on Facebook and Instagram. Same with our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Yes, I am Annetta Felix. Thank you for watching. And I am Osaogi Ogbawa.